Hi there, two weeks after my surgery. Hi there, welcome back. This is Firefighter Cafrata. It's been two weeks after my surgery. As you can see, that's my scar. Now, things that have happened. After my surgery, I got released to go home seven days after, right? Since then, I've been eating healthy, following everything appropriately, taking my, my medication that's given to me. I actually stopped my pain medication up until recently because I had a hiccup, right? My hiccup, I had a pulmonary embolism, multiple small pulmonary embolisms. Now, as you know, pulmonary, pulmonary embolisms can be deadly. Um, the other night, I had this excruciating pain that started in my lower back during the day when I was sitting down, thinking it was positional, it was posture, it was sitting, but no, it wasn't. In the middle of the night, at 12 at night, I woke up and that pain suddenly moved from my lower back to my right side of my chest, where my lungs are. I realized I had a pulmonary embolism where I was having one. I had my wife rush me to the ER at three in the morning, right? Did some research, but I probably shouldn't have. I probably should have just went to the ER. They did an angiogram and they confirmed I had multiple small pulmonary embolisms. Right now, basically, they just, after they did all these tests, they also checked for like DVT, which is like blood clots in the leg, which I had none, right? What they did is they let me go. They said, basically, your body is gonna break down these blood clots naturally because they're tiny and they're in little small vessels in your lungs. But the pain is so excruciatingly so horrible, so extensive that I can't sleep at night. So I'm back on pain medication. Now, I was very frustrated because the doctors wouldn't give me a direction, a specific direction. When is this pain gonna go away? When am I gonna feel better? Are blood thinners a solution? They left me with, I guess, my, my self-choosing leaving the ER you can either go on blood thinners or you can let it break down naturally, right? But they suggested break down naturally, right? So I was completely mad, pissed off, left the ER without really a solution because they left it to me. And I was like, well, do I take blood thinners? Let me ask my surgeon that did my, my operation. Maybe he could point me in the best direction to get a solution but it took a day or so for the, for the surgeon to get back to me, right? And I got a solution the day later, they all said, a cardiologist and my surgeon, blood thinners are the way to go for about three months. That'll help, that'll help prevent more clots from forming, but the existing clots in my lungs, both lungs, are gonna remain and naturally break down within my body. So I'm currently in this, in this like mode of, it's like a void that basically in limbo that I am gonna have pain. And it's gonna be from breathing, it's from the blood clots, but everything else is starting to heal. I'm doing everything they're asking me to do. Uh, I'm walking, I'm doing my daily exercises eating appropriately, but this video is about how things come up and to be your best advocate and be the person that needs to make sure that you push yourself to go to the ER when you have pain, to make a choice because this group of small pulmonary embolisms could have been a big one and I could have died. So um, again, you know, 
when after these type of surgeries, aortic aneurysms, right? And being the person that advocates for yourself, you have to make sure you do whatever's best for you to solve the issue, to be above and beyond, you know, just what's, what's people are going to do. Because people are really afraid. I'm going to say, most everybody in this world is right now afraid of everything. They're afraid of liability. They're afraid of, you know, telling you what, what you should and should not do. You know, you have to do your due diligence and research and make sure that you push yourself so you get the right things done. And you have to question these doctors and tell the doctors, like, what are my options? What are my solutions? Because a lot of people are concerned about themselves getting in trouble. But this is your life. And this is you worried about what you're going through. I have a young family. I have my rest of my life. I want to succeed and live and be there for my children, right? But a lot of people just want to finish their day and their job and not get stuck getting in trouble. I look at it like this is your life. This is not a job. This is you surviving, thriving, and living. So this video is just kind of like a, a PO video. I'm pissed off that I want the best for myself. I want the best for my family. I want to make sure that I can survive. And I'm going through hell because I can't sleep with this pulmonary little tiny embolisms. But now I'm going to get these blood thinners, which God knows how long this is going to take. But I need to take those for three months. So they suggested three months. It'll help basically prevent future clots in my body. But the existing ones, my lungs, will have to naturally, I guess, fade away. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you know, tell me below. Uh, this is what my situation is. This is what I look like right now. Uh, I'm improving. Uh, it's taking time. And you have to be patient. But you also have to be the person that's willing to go the extra mile to push yourself. So, again, thanks for watching Firefighter Cafferata.